So far, as we've looked at relationships between data, we've only looked to see if they're related. That is, we've only looked to see if large values of one property tend to show up at the same time as large values of another property. Sometimes we want to infer that there is a causal relationship. For example, this scatter plot shows a relationship between years of education and weekly earnings. So in whatever research we did to find out about this relationship, you know, we had all of these people with 14 years of education. And they had all of these different weekly incomes. All of these people with 13 years of education, and they had all of these weekly incomes. So we see that even with the same number of years of education, weekly incomes vary significantly. All we see in this graph is, is that people with more years of education typically have higher incomes. Now, this is just information about a correlation. Years of education is correlated with weekly income. The information that would be really useful to us would be information about causation. That is, does more education cause higher income? Ultimately, the question we want to answer when we see data that are related like this is, if I get more education, will my weekly income increase? And looking at a chart like this can't tell us the answer. In order to infer causation, we need more information than just the correlation between the data. Why is that? Why is it that we might see this kind of relationship where more education is related to greater income, but it's not the case that more education is causing the greater income? Maybe the causation runs the other way. Maybe it's the case that people with more income can afford more education. Uh, there's a relationship like this between income and TV size. People with more income typically have bigger TVs, but you would never suspect that getting a bigger TV will increase your income. Maybe they share a cause. Maybe there's something that causes people to have more education and also make more money. To make up a plausible sounding idea, maybe people with rich parents tend to have both more education and better paying jobs. Or maybe, maybe it just is that way. So maybe that's what we observe. And we can predict what someone's income will be by looking at their level of education. But by influencing their level of education, we can't change what they earn. In order to infer causation, we need more than an observed relationship. What do we need? So the first thing that we need in order to infer causation is a plausible mechanism of causation. So that means some way that the one thing could possibly cause the other. Um, in the example we're working on, a couple of plausible mechanisms, maybe more education provides the skills or credentials that are required for higher paying jobs, or maybe higher paying employees prefer candidates with more years of education. But 
Just because you have a plausible mechanism for causation still doesn't mean it's there. How can you find out if one thing causes another? In order to really see that causation is present, you need an experiment in which you manipulate one variable and observe changes in the other. So a simple sort of experiment here might be to take a randomly selected group of people, give them a couple years of education, and then observe what effect that has on their income. Experiment design, of course, is outside the scope of this class. But whenever you see an implication that changes in one variable cause changes in another, you should be on the lookout for a plausible mechanism of causation and also whether the people who are claiming the causation have actually performed or observed an experiment. Or if maybe you're just looking at a relationship that might have alternative explanations.